hi and welcome to my channel the stitchy wife i'm elizabeth and today it is time for vlogmas in may day six me made may day six and friday sews episode 11. welcome <music> Welcome to another episode of my Vlogmas in May and another Friday sews. Today it is a lot of things going on. I need to finish the photos of my um, pattern test for Hey June Handmade. She's launching her uh, pattern today and has a site-wide sale so don't miss that. It's 20% off all her patterns including this new Marseille dress and it is a wonderful pattern. I just told Peter that I feel pretty. Is it okay to say that? You, um, I don't know how to say it otherwise, but I just like the look of the dress and I, it needs no, you don't need to put that much effort in it and you can use it with sneakers or you can, dress it up with a high heel or yeah I just love this dress and it is such a simple dress in a way but I will share it with you and I will share the photo shoot with you too that I'm doing because I'm trying to do it outside but it is cold and it after all it is a summer dress so I don't know if I'm gonna make it but we'll try and I will share some pictures of that and then I will share the very exciting fabric haul from beyond the pink door because look what I got from the UPS man just an hour ago. Look, look, look. I haven't opened it, so I thought I would do it on camera. And you would share the moment with me. So I'm so excited, as always, when Andrea sends me post. But first off, out to take some photos. Otherwise, I won't be able to do it. And it will get, be getting dark. And it is already quite grey outside. So we'll see how the photos will be. But... We'll give it a try and I will take you along with me. You can even see on my nose how red I am, but I am loving this pattern, I just have to say it. And I really wanted uh, Adrian to get some good pictures of my versions. I've actually made four versions, but it was too cold to take photos of all of them. So I will try and insert pictures here of just the other two hanging on the uh, hanger, because um, it isn't any idea of me showing them off inside, because it is too dark. At the moment and yeah I think I'm thinking about dyeing the first two one because two ones because as you can see this this version I think it is an amazing doing an amazing thing for my skin and my complex and I think this is the perfect color for me and I'm in love with it I never thought I would feel so strongly about this color because this was actually going to be a 
wearable 12 once I figured out that uh, Adrian had changed the testing pattern and we needed to start not <clears throat> sorry not start over but I made mistakes so I had to start over and um, yeah I will I thought I would try this one and work from there but I'm loving this one as you can see I made it um, half a size oversized to make it a bit bigger in uh, in the look of it or so to speak but because I wanted that silhouette on this dress I'm gonna try making it my regular size and see how that fit next time but um, and that I'm planning on making it as a sew along and I hope you will join me because it is a great pattern and as I said uh, Adrian has a 20% off side white sale so please go check her, fab uh, her patterns out because she has some amazing ones that are my absolute staples in my wardrobe and I'm loving them if you haven't figured that out before. I actually got an affiliate link because I am a pattern tester for her and uh, if you use that it only means that I get a small, very small percentage of her sale so it would make me so happy if you would use that if you are going to buy anyway but I will link it down below so you can see which, which one it is. But if you're going to buy something, do it now, because that sale is a good one. Now, I'm just uh, I'm just going to send her the pictures. I will insert some of them here so you can see how they turned out. And um, then I will um, get on with opening my very exciting package from Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. Can't wait. I know one of <laughs> I know the fabrics I've ordered, but it always it is always so exciting when you get the package and you don't really know what you are getting in the terms of uh, the feel of it. I think you know what I mean. Every sewers probably know what I'm talking about. But I have had a wonderful Friday so far. So um, hang on and stay with me, and I will be right back. I am back in front of the fire. It got cold outside doing the photo, photo shoot for my pattern test. Here is my third version. I will try and insert pictures here along the way while I'm talking about it. But um, yeah, I'm really loving this um, dress. As Adrian once again has made a complete success of her patterns. She is an amazing pattern, amazing pattern drafter. I can't praise her enough because maybe she's drafting for my, I don't, what do you call it, my figure. I don't know, but it is amazing fit and so easy to understand and always a little bit of twist somewhere in, in between in the patterns. And yeah, I just love them. And this pattern is, I will read from what she is describing it as. The Marseille dress is a swingy, relaxed, unlined woven dress featuring a gathered skirt, bust and back darts, inseam pockets, a full center button placket, and an option, optional sash. View A is a narrower shoulder strap. Scoop neck and view B features a gentle v-neck with a wider shoulder strap. Both of you have the option for knee length or calf length hem. Marseille can easily be dressed up or dressed down. Pair it with a strap of sandals or sneakers and a chunky cardi or a denim jacket. The options are endless. And she's doing it in, uh, she divided her um, sizes into two. So you have, see, she has block for 0 to 20, size 0 to 20 and size, let me see what the other one is. And a B cup and size 14 to 30 and a D cup. Uh, so there are two different blocks there. So just be aware of that. Uh, well, I will have inserted pictures along the way. I made the size 12. I added nothing to the length of the bodice. I added nothing to the length of the skirt. And there I will do an adjustment when I do the longer version next time. Because I think it got kind of a frumpy um, length on me. So I think I will shorten the flowery one and um, make it a short one instead. And then I will do a real longer one where I've added about two inches or something like that and try that length. I have in the past not been very good with 
um, midi dresses anyway. So that might be the problem. My leg doesn't like the, that length and I don't like the look of that length. But um, yeah, I will share the pictures and I really hope that you will consider buying that pattern because not only is it a great pattern, but it's also filled with a lot of good instructions and good ideas for the bias binding and for the button placket. And yeah, I really, really like her way of teaching and her way of sharing her methods. And the patterns are great. It's it's going to be one of my definite staples in the summer. I promise you that. Uh, so you will see a lot more of it later in the summer. And um, what else can I tell you? Well, I don't know if you recognized it, but on one of the pictures, I actually finished my Marlowe cardigan and used it to um, have on top of um, over my shoulders when I took the picture because it was freezing outside. Uh, we were having about between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius and that is not much to do photos with a summer dress. But I couldn't do much about it. We had a wonderful day, let me see, three days ago and then I was in bed. So I couldn't take photos then. And before that the dresses weren't finished. So uh, yeah, not much to do about it. I'm. Um, the fire is behind me so I can warm up now and it's feeling so great and so cozy and yeah. Uh, what I almost forgot to tell you, I don't know if I said it before, is that Heijun Handmade is having a, a mid uh, spring sale now for all, all her um, site. So please, if, if there is any other pattern you're thinking about, check it out and I will leave links down below all, so you can see all her patterns because there are a lot of great ones there. Uh, the C fourth pants is one of them that I had uh, that I used yesterday. If you remember, and yeah, a lot of great patterns. So please check her out. And I don't know if I said that either, but I'm planning on sewing my next uh, Marseille dress together with you, not as a regular uh, tutorial, but a sew along in some sort. And I will try and do it next week or the week after that. I have one more pattern test this month and uh, I just want to finish that so I can feel relaxed and feel like I've done what I'm supposed to do and fill out all the forms and so on. So we will see. But um, yeah, I am um, really excited to start planning my modules now for me and my, I feel, I'm feeling like I'm just making ends meet with what I have in the wardrobe for me made me so it's it's really close and i washed my last week i washed i think i used the washer about three times just so i can wear so i have anything to wear when i need to get out of the house so that is a good thing i'm desperate i'm in desperate need of clothes and this even though i have three summer dresses it isn't quite the weather for summer dresses yet i'm thinking about layering them up but I've sewn them in quite, this is in a um, viscous trill, so it is a bit thicker, but it's still not thick and it, I don't think it would be that great to layer up since it's a short length. Maybe if I'd done the longer length, it would have worked, but yeah, never mind. Now I will stop um, chatting about that and I will share the long awaited Beyond the Pink Door fabric haul. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, and when I'm saying, saying long awaited, it didn't take long at all to get here. It's just me that I've been waiting since I put the order in. And once again, Brenda, if you're watching this, thank you for making me aware of that fabric that I am so excited to see in my order. Well, let's get started. Hang on a minute and I will get the fabrics. Here we have it. A huge exciting package from Andre. Let's get on with it. Now my phone once again is saying that I need more lighting. I will try and set the ring light and uh, turn the ring light on and see what happens. I will try and look a bit like this if you think <laughs> if you're wondering if I do it like this you all you will see is the ring light and I for one is feeling quite disturbed by that when people are using the ring light. So yeah I will try 
doing it like this and we will see how we will get on the most important thing is the fabrics right Ooh, gotten hot being in front of the fire i think i will turn it around Oh, look how beautiful this is. Thank you, Brenda, for making me see this before it gotten out of stock. I got the last two meters. I don't know if you got that. Yay. Okay, I've gotten them in two different. Hope that will work. I think so. Look at this oh okay i could do a full jumpsuit in it <laughs> no i'm just kidding but that is what i'm feeling for right now because it is even more soft than my fluffy teddy oh it is so good thank you andra wonderful wonderful fabric as usual and as always and oh, i don't know what to make of it now Ugh. does this happen to you too when you don't feel the fabric is so beautiful that you are afraid of cutting into it and you are you want to make so many things out of it and still you're so afraid to make the wrong wrong things out of it but this will be the perfect spring jacket in sweden because um, it's not at all as heavy as the denim fabric, but it is so soft and so cuddly and still warm, but not too warm, I think. I would wrap myself up in this and just, yeah. Mm. So exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't stop saying thank you to you, Brenda, too, because as I said, I would have been so sad to not have seen this one. I know it's silly to say that. But I would have. I can't say it in any other way. What a day this has been. First, this turning out so great. And I just, as I said before, I feel pretty in this dress. I know it sound, may sound silly, but it's been a rough couple of months. And not a lot of things has, have made me feel pretty. And this dress really makes me feel that way. And yeah, it makes me happy. And now, wonderful fabric. Thank you, Andrea. I don't know what I did before you starting your fabric shop. I guess many people say that. And here is the rest of the package. Thank you, Andrea. She just enclosed a note about finding a flaw on the other fabric. That is why she separated it. And I thought it was a lot of fabric. There is, there is way more than I ordered. Thank you. That's so sweet. That made my day. I got a bit worried there for a second. I thought if I, I planned it so thoroughly with the two meters that when I saw that you only had that, now I'm taking for granted that you are watching this, Andrea. I'm sorry for all of you out there if you keep if you have to listen to me. But um, and then you added so much more. Thank you. It means a lot. And then there is a card. Whoever said less is more, never had a dessert and certainly never bought fabric. <laughs> that is so correct. Less is not more regarding either dessert or fabric. And this is a postcard you can send. That is such a fun idea. <laughs> Loving it. You are made to have a shop, Andra. I just have to say that. 
you have all those little extras that are so incredible much value in for us that buying fabric from you that it was not a great grammatical sentence but i hope you get what i mean you are amazing and then we have this fabric i thought it was so beautiful i couldn't help myself i probably not will not be able to buy any more fabric for about half a year or something like that after this this and the minerva order is my last fabric all in a very long time i'm sorry to say that but it's got to be that way but look at this it is a double gauze with a, a border i don't know how to capture yeah i think you can capture that can you see how beautiful that looks and make some kind of very plain i think very plain and Almost a t-shirt or a woven shirt or some a, wo a woven t-shirt or something like that. And um, just letting the border speak for itself, so to speak. I know that Wardrobe by Me have a pattern for using double gauze. But I also have the Remy car, a uh, Remy, is it called t-shirt or something like that? Remy shirt, Remy. I don't remember. I will insert pictures here. A pattern shop with a seven in so how seven. I'm sorry, you really get to listen to all my blabbering and shattering now. Uh, I hope it's okay. Uh, they, they're, I think it's called the Raglan Tea or something like that. I really like that pattern. And I also know that Ali Olsen has a pattern that is that um, the Corum shirt, I think it's called from Ali Olsen. I will try and insert pictures of both the Soho 7 one and the Ali Olsen here. And I think that would be great for this. So we'll see if I order a new pattern or if I use the ones I have. Then as a final, I just had to buy. No, I don't. didn't have to, have to buy them. But it was so beautiful to miss out. And once again, I, I just need to start making the spring dress to see if I can make all those spring dresses I want to make. But on the other hand, maybe I can make one of these Marseille dresses in this viscose because here the fabric really could speak for itself. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Or maybe a Cheyenne shirt would be lovely too. Look, isn't it gorgeous? How come fabric makes you so happy? Can someone explain that to me? It really lights up my day and warms my heart and all that. Yeah, this was my fabric haul. What a fabulous end to a great day. It's been a while since I had one of those and I hope you can feel how happy I am. Um, I think I'm going to put an end to this vlog here because then the Editing won't be so late in the evening and I can put it up for publishing around, I don't know, Swedish time, 11 maybe. And um, we'll see how my computer will, will um, be supported because last night it wouldn't work at all. It is a very old computer and I, I've hesitated to do this, but I've actually started a Kofi account. I know we are a very small channel. But my plans are to make tutorials and that is something that I, I think I should make something that will give you a value before I would even start asking for some kind of support for this channel. But I wanted to let it out there because there have been some questions about it and I have a Kofi account and I will add it down below and I have, by, I have no expectations whatsoever but I thought why not. Uh, I I would be so so grateful for every bit of support and that is why I'm talking about the affiliate links too because that is of no cost to you that's just adding to my helping me out and I really need a new computer because this old one is a terrible one and it is almost starting to be that bad that I won't be able to edit on it and then I don't know how to edit the um, filming I make anymore. So yeah, 
I'm really trying to save up. So this fabric was probably not the best thing to order because I could have put those money into the computer thing, I know. But at the same time, Anders Petrus and I talked about those two last things that I've ordered is um, mainly to pick me up. And um, yeah, he helped me with that and we will start saving. We are already saving for the computer. So, but I just thought I would let you know. Um, that is all for today, I think. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday evening. And, or maybe Saturday when you're seeing this. And I will see you tomorrow. And I have some more exciting things that, that I forgot to tell you about, actually, tomorrow. I'm really loving this Vlogmas in May. And thank you for sticking by me and just being with me. It means so, so much. Have a wonderful evening and take care and love each other and love yourself. Promise me that. Life is short, really short. We have to enjoy every day we get. Today was a great day. Thank you for being here and thank you for being a part of my life. Bye for now.